Today I'm going to show you how to add light bleed into your photos both in Lightroom as well as Photoshop. Now I primarily use Photoshop in my workflow, but I do use Lightroom as well to edit some of my photos and I'll go over how I add light bleeds to photos in Lightroom uh, as well as a couple of techniques that I do in Photoshop. So let's just jump right in and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so we've got a pretty simple photo here. This was taken at the Great Sand Dunes National Park in Colorado with some friends of mine earlier this year. We got an amazing, amazing sunrise, as you can see. Um, I just did some basic adjustments here, really just highlights, shadows, and a little bit of uh, color balancing uh, to make the image the way I would want to start, at least. And so one of the things I want to do is create some directional lighting, add some mood to it by adding a light bleed. So in Lightroom, it's pretty simple. We just go up here to this masking panel within, uh, within Lightroom. We're gonna click that. I like this to select the radial gradient and we're just going to select an area, something like that, right? The light's coming from left into right. That's where the sunrise was. So that's where we're gonna do the radial gradient. We can also change this later on, which is great. It's a great, powerful tool to be able to do so. Uh, it's obviously not destructive, so we're good there. After that, the first thing I do is drag down the dehaze button a little bit you know let's say around 25 that looks good we're gonna go over to the temperature because the light itself in this specific scene is gonna be quite a bit uh, warmer given the you can see the the sky is quite warm so we want to bring up the temperature there quite a bit maybe 40 I'm gonna bring up the tint just a tad as well and i want to bring up the whites as well so overall i think that looks pretty good we've introduced some some light to this scene it's creating uh, more contrast throughout the image some mood which is great if we wanted to do another mask uh, a little bit more of a light bleed uh, what i would do is again radial gradient and i'm just going to drag a smaller one similar thing i'm going to bring up the temperature a little bit bring down the dehaze and the whites. So you can see that just added a little bit more light just in the horizon where the sun would be coming through. So that's pretty much it. You can see before those masks, overall the image, I think that looks pretty sweet. So let's pop over to Photoshop and I'll show you how I do it in Photoshop as well. There's a couple different techniques that I use there. Uh, it's a little bit more powerful in my opinion, just because you have multiple different options to choose from. All right, so now that we're in Photoshop, what I always do, Command J on a Mac, that's going to duplicate this layer right there. Again, this is just, even though I'm not doing anything destructive, that's just what I always do as soon as I come over into Photoshop, just so that I have a before should I do any changes to this specific layer. So first thing I'm going to, this is my favorite way of creating light bleeds. I'm gonna create a new layer. Uh, for this one, I'm actually going to go over here. This is gonna be the gradient tool. It's already selected, but right over here, this is uh, the radial gradient as opposed to a linear or other ones, which I never really use. Uh, so when we're in radial, I like using hard light personally for my light bleeds, so I'm gonna click that. I actually kinda of like the color. We're gonna see how this turns out. So just drag it like you would. And you can also change the color as well if you want it to be more dramatic, orange or yellow or whatever. You can change the color of this as well. So if I wanted to create some light like that, now I think this is more than I would like to do, at least for now. So I'm going to just bring the opacity down, say 50 for now. So I think that looks pretty good. I might do another layer as well, go down to hard light once again, back up to a little bit more yellow of one. I'm just gonna make this 
almost white. And that just adds a little bit more normal light, not as saturated of light. And I like to group these together. So command click to select both, command G to group, and then label it light bleed. So you can see the before and after. I like that, you know, again, you can shape it, you can get creative. So a couple of other ways to add a light bleed is if you, let's unselect that. If I wanted to go over to a curves adjustment, you can do it here as well. And so you're just gonna make it a little bit brighter. Maybe we go over to red a little bit, add some red to it. Command I to invert that, that layer mask. Go over to the radial, it's still there, still selected. The radial filter is there, so we can just drag this once again. I'm actually going to bring up the opacity. And so this adds, you can see some more directional lighting. Now in combination, you can see what that did. There you have it. Pretty simple. Those are a couple of different ways that I use, uh, you know, either Lightroom or Photoshop to add light bleeds to my photos. If you liked the video or if you have any other questions, suggestions on future videos, drop them in the comments below. If you did like this video and you want to see more of these types of editing tutorials, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll be coming out with new ones shortly. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time.